What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Reeboks Monday! Yes, once again we have filled the box up with some awesome stuff. So yes, oh, this is very exciting for today because there's quite a nice little set here and we've got some pretty cool opening parts there and uh, off to the sides, off to the both sides actually we've got a couple of other items too. So uh, don't worry, we will also be opening some of these 10 packs today. Oh, there you go, there's a little bit of a glimpse of other items. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of cars in the 10 packs we will be able to open up and see. Uh, let's move those things back there. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll start off today with some of these and maybe we'll open a couple of these as well. All right, all right, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you all had a fantastic week. Uh, as you can see, I've obviously found some pretty cool items. And here we have the Hot Wheels Gym Port set. Absolutely awesome. I didn't even know that this was coming out. Look at they even have Mount Fuji in the background there. That's awesome. Very, very cool. And I love the card art there, like real artwork on that. Like actually it looks like it's been painted on with like a watercolor or something. That's really, really nice card art for that. All right, anyway, we'll carry on to the car itself. This is the 1985 Honda CRX. Uh, it's got those crazy new wheels on there as well. Those are odd looking wheels. Uh, it's got a nice bright yellow and black two-tone color combination going on there. Around the front you can see it has the lens headlight effect. You can see inside there's a little bit of an exposed intercooler going on there. Nice little front splitter as well. Uh, this has the Motul race livery. And you see on the front there you have that uh, Motul on the front and that red stripe in there and that red panel on the roof. You have a little Honda window banner. Motul number five on the side there. A little Honda badge and some Toyo tires also. And around the back we get all of those light details, the badges, everything like that. Nice little wing there, a little bit of black paint on the wing too. And uh, yeah, and some silver exhausts. And if you notice, this is also a metal body and a metal base construction. Uh, this black panel in the center is plastic, uh, but the base and the main body piece is actually a metal on metal construction. Absolutely awesome. Uh, this is the rest of the cars in the series. Uh, don't worry, we have an entire set in here to have a look at. So uh, yeah, very, very nice. Uh, there's also only one of these per box and one of these per box. Uh, so yeah, if you're wondering why these, the uh, CRX is hard to find and also the uh, Toyota Starlet being hard to find, that is because there's only one per box. And I know that because I was at Big W the other day and they were restocking and uh, I found uh, three of the five cars on the, on the actual pegs and then when they were restocking they had an extra box there so I was uh, luckily enough lucky on that occasion to be able to pick up the last two cars from the box. Yeah, very, very happy. It's always good luck when you uh, get there at that restock time and you can actually get the extra cars. And here we go, here is the other car, which is also one per box. Look at the wheels on this. Those look really cool. They're kind of hard to focus on there, but yeah, they look really, really nice on there. Very nice color too. It's kind of like a, a mint green kind of color. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more pastel-y or something like that. Um, there's the card art for that also. How cool does that look? You even have the bolt-on wheel flares and everything like that. Very, very cool. Uh, and the rest of it seems to be the same as the other card. And yeah, how awesome is this? On the front there we actually get the headlight details, indicators. You can see those wide arches there over those wheels. Uh, stripes over the bonnet. And on the side there, we also have the uh, Starlet written there as well on that black panel. I really like those wheels. What a great choice. And around the back there, we get the rear lights, the badging, and a black bumper section too. And uh, this one here is also a metal body and metal base construction. Very nice that they're doing that. And also, it does not come with the horrible post in the back seat to ruin the casting. This is very, very nice. I'm very happy that they're actually putting some metal on metal castings into their uh, themed lineup. It makes that extra cost a little bit more uh, digestible, I will have to say. <laughs> All right, next up, 
I did notice that this one here was a plastic base, so we don't have to worry too much about that, but it does come with some very, very cool looking wheels. Nice bright orange paint job. I have a little bit of detailing on the door and on that little B pillar just there. Around the front there, get the headlight details painted up there, get the badging, Cosmo, that white stripe over the bonnet and over the boot. Awesome. And then there is, actually I think these are, aren't these a rear engine car? I'm not entirely sure. Um, somebody will have to comment that in the, uh, put, put the uh, answer to that in the comments please. Uh, and does come with the nice rear details too, a little bit of extra silver detailing. And yeah, that looks really, really cool. Very, very nice to have the uh, 1968 Mo Mazda Cosmo uh, Sport again in the lineup. Yeah, very happy. Uh, nice card art for that as well. I have to say the card art on this series is really, really impressive. I will admit though, I am a bit of a sucker for some good actual painted artwork. So um, yeah, these are very, very nice for me. Uh, next up, how cool is this? We have the Skyline, love the card art for that. That looks super awesome. And here we have it, the Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX. Nice gold wheels. Same as on the Starlet, just a uh, gold version. Has that crazy uh, tempo along the side there. It's like a big giant lightning bolt. Uh, number 15, JDM something or other written there. Uh, Yokohama sponsors, Sparco, little Hot Wheels logo. And I assume that that says Hot Wheels possibly down the side there. Around the front there, we get the, uh, <laughs> that's so awesome. We actually get the, uh, is that a lens headlight or is that painted? I don't think that's actually a lens headlight, I'm not too sure. Uh, but we do get headlight detail regardless. Uh, we get the exposed intercooler with the hoses. Oh, so awesome. On the bonnet, we get the number 15, a little bit of white pinstriping. Uh, a little bit of black paint on the rear spoiler there. And around the back there, we get the rear lights painted up there too. That's so awesome. And also has no bumpers on the rear. Yeah, love it. Absolutely awesome. Now there's a card art for that. And this one here, as you can see, is a plastic base. Love the car though. That is really, really cool. Uh, there's a couple of those in the box, just in case you were wondering. I'll pop that over there. Uh, next up. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. I did pick up a second one of these. So why not just, uh, well, actually we'll quickly just do a card comparison. Uh, yes, this one's a little bit just ever so slightly a little bit more damaged uh, just on the corner there. So we'll open this one here up. Completely forgot about that. Uh, at the $5 a pri uh, each per car, they're kind of a little bit expensive to buy the entire set. Uh, possibly I will get an entire set uh, over the next few weeks or whatever. Maybe I'll find a few extras, but um, yeah. I just really was happy to have this one here to uh, have as a spare. Let's check out those lights. No, those are not lens headlights. Those are painted headlights there. Maybe you can see the actual paint detailing on there. But that is super, super cool. Love the paint job, love the color. And uh, a little tiny shot of the interior. Single seat race car. That is absolutely awesome. Very nice. Yeah, you'll have to let me know what you guys think of the Skyline from the Gymport set. Very, very cool. <laughs> oh, yes. Those wheels are just absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it is a plastic base there. All right. And we'll finally get on to the last car, which is the Acura NSX. Wow, the card art looks really, really cool on this one. I'm a big fan of the NSX. Uh, and the Acura NSX uh, is a really, really cool one, like this race version with the roof scoop and everything with the big wing. Looks awesome. Uh, this is also a plastic base for this one. Uh, on the front there, you can see we have the NSX and the Acura on there. Oh, it's actually a, uh, a pearl blue color. If you can see that, it's got a little bit of green in that blue paint job. Wow, that's really nice. Uh, it has the full uh, NSX race livery or the HKS NSX race livery or whatever it is all over. It's got all those racing sponsors on there anyway. Acura logo on the roof on that white panel, a little Acura 
window banner, big huge wing on the back there, massive racing diffuser, and on the rear we also get that huge red light, uh, brake light bar on there as well. That is awesome. Uh, it's a metal wing as well. That is super, super cool. I love this casting. And uh, yes, I'll definitely be picking up one of these as a spare. So possibly uh, over the next few weeks, we'll be able to open one of these also. All right, uh, next up, we found, I'm just gonna get these out of the box and get the box out of the way. <clears throat> uh, they were restocking the uh, moving parts when I was at Big W the other day as well. So I was able to get some of the new moving parts cars. And there we go. Those great lineup of cars. Um, wasn't too sure if I actually already found one of these, but I picked up this one anyway. Uh, we won't open this one today. This is the uh, 1965 Volkswagen 1600 TL Fastback. It has the opening doors. There's a little shot of the card art there, so you can see the actual opening mechanisms. Uh, but yeah, very, very nice color. Uh, so we'll possibly open up this one next week. Uh, next up, we will definitely be opening up this one. This is the 1988 Mazda RX-7. Very, very cool. I uh, do quite like this car uh, in real life as well as just the casting for it too, but yeah, first one of these in my collection, I believe. All right, wow, that color is awesome. Look at that beautiful, beautiful red paint job. Has a nice clear window as well. Uh, Left-hand drive, unfortunately. Uh, there is the base there. So yeah, uh, very, very shiny base. Hope you can read all the information on that. Uh, nice wheel choice as well. Black stripe around the whole side of the car. Uh, headlight details, markers and everything like that are painted on there. As we know, it has the pop-up headlights. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't make it as a uh, headlight pop-up opening part feature. That would have been pretty funny. Yeah, not a bad looking car. Nice, nice actual uh, casting for it. Nice rear light details, everything like that. 198, oh, Rotary 88 on the license plate. Nice chrome exit exhausts. Yeah, this is actually rather nice. And now for the part that we all wanted to see. Once again, the engine bay does not open at all. That's as far as uh, that will go. But look at all the detail in the engine there. Wow, we! I'm sorry for the angle, but it's kind of like the only angle I can show you where you can actually see some light in there. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very, very nice. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to take this off camera and actually have a closer look at it myself. It's really kind of sad that we can't open the bonnet very far. That's the best angle that we can get for that. Very nice though, lots and lots of detail on that. That is really, really impressive. Yeah, very happy to have that in the collection and especially a convertible version too. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. Very happy with that. All uh, right, get rid of the box there. Uh, next up, we have the 2018 Ford Focus RS, new for 2024. This also has the opening uh, a bonnet as well. Very nice color, blacked out wheels. Uh, we'll open this one here up next week. Actually, we'll open up all of these up next week uh, because I'm trying to keep the episode a little bit shorter today. Uh, trying my best to not go over a ridiculous length of time because, well, you know what I'm like. I always get carried away and it, by the end of it, it's like an hour long video. Uh, this one here is pretty cool though, M the Boss Mustang. The Boss 302 Mustang. It's got the uh, gold stripe on the side there. Beautiful black paint job. Yeah, very, very cool. Yep, very nice card up for that too. Also has the opening bonnet feature. Uh, and next up we have the 2023 Citroen EC4X. Nice white color, gray silver wheels. Also has the opening bonnet feature just there too, but it's an EV, I think, so I don't really know how much uh, detail you can put on there. Is it an EV or is it a hybrid? 
I don't know, let me know in the comments below. I have not seen one of these cars yet. Yeah, but there we go. We'll open that one up next week. And the last one is a 2022 Lexus LX. Very, very nice. Very cool. Uh, this one has the opening rear tailgate. And uh, yeah, that would actually be a rather nice one to open up. Nice color, uh, nice in general. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. Uh, last couple of brand new items that I have for today before we open up the uh, five pack, uh, the 10 pack I should say. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've actually got four 10 packs sitting next to me. Uh, let me go over here. Four 10 packs sitting just here, all with different cars in there. Uh, two of them have the same exclusive car, but I deliberately bought that because I wanted two of them, one for myself and one for my bro. Uh, but yeah, we'll open up one of those this week and then next week we'll open up another one and then so on and so on until they are all opened. All right, very happy to have been able to get some of these team transport sets. This one here is the Plymouth AAR Cuda, Dan Gurney's All American Racers Inc. Uh, these are on sale, believe it or not, for $25. I don't know how they got the $25 price and say that's a sale when literally a year ago they were $19. Uh, but yes, anyway, um, I did fall for it only because this was just such a nice looking uh, package. Uh, has the entire truck decked out in all of the livery and details everywhere all over as well. So it was kind of, I don't know, I think it was just really a nice little package to pick up and check out the car. How awesome is that? Yes, very, very happy. Uh, these are $25, so uh, I won't be buying a second one. Uh, we'll just possibly just open up this one here in a future episode. And uh, I also picked up the Fiat 131 Abarth. Look at that. Has Once again, has all of the uh, livery all over the truck itself. There we go, the Olio Fiat, all the details on the truck as well. This is a second story lorry. So you can actually put another car, or possibly two more cars on the top there. Uh, but yeah, look at the car. That is incredibly cool. Very, very happy to have picked up this. And uh, yeah, the last car in the pack was the uh, 68 or the 66 Chevy Chevelle and the 72 Ram truck. Uh, the only reason I didn't pick them up was because I can't justify $25 for this when the truck itself has no, nothing to do with the actual car. Uh, if the, car, the truck itself was decked out with all the same colors and livery to match the Chevelle, I would have picked this one up also. But because the truck just kind of looks like a generic truck, and the car is completely different to the truck itself. It was just kind of just, I didn't see the point in buying it. The car itself looks really, really nice, but the truck, as I said, it just looks like a generic everyday truck. So uh, it didn't have anywhere near as the same appeal as these two. I mean, look at the, the combination that you get with just those two there. Look at that. All the details all over the cars, all the details all over the trucks, and then, and then you get this. You get all the details all over the car and you get a, a, a blue and white ramp truck. So it's kind of just boring and uh, yeah, wasn't, wasn't appealing at all. But how awesome, how awesome is that? Really, really nice. All right, there we go. We'll pop those just off to the side there and we'll grab the 10 pack. Um, that's one of the 10 packs that we got. This is the one we will be opening up today because this one here is apparently an exclusive car also. So uh, we're gonna have a look at that. Uh, this is the other one. This one has the Skyline in there too. We'll open this one here up possibly uh, the week after next. Uh, next week, we will do this one here. As you can see, it has the uh, Nissan 300ZX in there and it also has the Supra. Uh, it also has another one of these, so uh, we'll get two Subarus out of this pack. And then the last one was once again another 300ZX, but there's another selection of cars in here as well, such as these two trucks there. Really awesome. So yeah, we'll open up these over the next few weeks. Uh, we'll separate these ones over the weeks and we'll put this one here into uh, the week after next. Next week, we'll open up this one with the Supra. 
And today, as the last thing for today, we'll go through this 10 pack of cars and I will try my best to go through as fast as possible. Uh, there's the back there, it's got the new card art on it for 2024. And uh, there we go. Oh, also, I uh, forgot to mention, uh, let me just get this out quickly because it's noisy. I forgot to mention, uh, we have passed 3,000 subscribers, guys. Yes, there are now 3,000 of you that enjoy my content enough to actually subscribe and uh, tune in uh, from time to time. I know everybody doesn't tune in every week. I will say thank you very much to everybody that signs in, uh, joins in every single week. Like, you guys are the reason why I continue to do this every single week. Uh, it, it does get incredibly hard at times to uh, do some recording just purely due to time constraints and such like that uh, so everybody that tunes in every week uh, i appreciate you guys so much and i'm sorry that i don't get to reply to all the comments immediately uh, they do take me a while but yeah once again that's time constraints and everything like that uh, but yes just just know that i i appreciate every single one of you as much as you would never you would not believe just how much i appreciate all of you guys i just want to say that uh, thank you thank you so much for helping me surpass 3,000 subscribers. Well, us, we, we as our community have surpassed 3,000 subscribers. That is just, that's incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. And uh, yes, today we will quickly go through this. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a rant, but, well, not so much a rant, but one of those little sections where I get carried away and I just have to say what's on my mind. Uh, but yes, I do appreciate everybody. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we have the exclusive from the pack. It's a little Volkswagen GTI. Has uh, a little badge on the front there, some headlight details, nice red color paint job. And this uh, section on the roof there, is that supposed to be a sunroof or something? Uh, somebody needs to explain this uh, little square to me. That is, uh, I, don't, I just don't know. Uh, comes with some blacked out wheels. And we also get all the light and badge details on the rear there also. Uh, it's actually quite scratched up on the window. The, the window's actually got a lot of scratches on there. Wow, that is terrible, terrible condition. Um, scratches there, scratch there. Wow, that, just look at the windscreen. That is terrible. All right, so much for a, uh, an exclusive. This is ridiculous. There's the base for that. That is terrible, terrible condition to try to pass off as a brand new item. Uh, next up, we have the Honda Civic in a nice bright green metallic. Light details all over the front. Little Type R badge on the license plate there. A little black front splitter. Gray wheels. I will say that color's very nice. Uh, this one here comes with a nice clean undamaged window uh, it appears to be undamaged everywhere else that's really disappointing on that one uh, and around the back there we get all of the light details badge details that is very very cool uh, rear diffuser with the quad ex exhausts wow that's really nice giant wang also yeah that is really really nice very nice why is this one so damaged that's kind of disappointing <laughs> Uh, next up, we have the McLaren. Is that a P1? Yep, the McLaren P1. Uh, it's all blacked out, has the grey double star wheels. Uh, headlight details, uh, badge there. And believe it or not, I actually saw one of these uh, uh, not too far from my house today. It was a white one. It was, I don't know if it was actually a P1, it could have been a 720, but it was definitely a McLaren. It had that look on the front there. Definitely probably wasn't a McLaren P1. Those things are super rare. Uh, and there's the rear there with the central exhaust, the lights and everything like that. Uh, spoiler in the up position. And a uh, rear diffuser. That's really, really cool. Yeah, it definitely wasn't a, um, a P1, but I saw a very, very nice white McLaren. Um, it must have just been like a 720S or something like that. It was, it was very, very nice though. Oh, we'll get to that one last. I want to open these, I want to look at these Porsches kind of last. Uh, next up we have the Subaru. I already have one of these open, so yeah, we'll have another one of these open. 
It's the one drawback about buying 10 packs and multi packs in general. Uh, sometimes to get the cars that you want, you have to have extras that you don't want. Uh, headlight details, pink Subaru badge on the front there, bonnet scoop gold, 10 spoke wheels, nice mint green stripe along the side there, uh, going to a purple, or is that a pink? It's like a pink uh, Hot Wheels logo. Uh, no rear light details or anything like that. Little roof wing, little roof spoiler, and uh, the same details on the opposite side. Yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, next up, we'll go for this one. This one here is... Limited Grip. It kind of looks like a, uh, a Toyota Hilux uh, that's kind of been converted into a uh, drift missile kind of vehicle. Exposed intercool on the front there, big uh, roll bar, bar, push bar, bumper bar, whatever you call it on the front. No bonnet, twin turbos, and looks to be like an LS engine in the front there, judging by the look of the engine. Uh, an undamaged window, no scratches or anything on it. Uh, a little bit of a shot of the interior. Black Widow exhaust, nice lace wheels in gold. Uh, side exit exhaust, very, very cool. Oh, it's also a matte blue paint job. A uh, little Hot Wheels logo there. The King of Sound, Black Widow exhaust, I assume. That's probably their uh, saying. Uh, roof spoiler, roll cage on the back. A uh, little fuel cell by the looks of it. And the rest of it's being cut out. And a little bit of a shot of the back there. No tailgate or anything like that on the back. And uh, the same livery and side exit exhaust on this side. That's really cool. I will admit, that's a really cool casting. As far as like a drift car goes, or a recreation of a drift car goes, I think that's really, really cool. Uh, next up we have, a, what is this one, the Lincoln? Uh, the 64 Continental, the Lincoln Continental. Uh, I believe that I do have this, I think this was in the main line, uh, I'm not entirely sure, possibly a very similar version in the main line. I do like the gold grille and bumper details, the gold wheels and gold base as well. Uh, yeah, love that, very nice. Kind of like a plum purple paint job, little bit of metallic in there. And we have some pink and purple low rider pinstriping on the front there and on the side there as well. That is super, super cool. And that comes with a purple interior. Ooh, very nice. And uh, more pinstriping on the rear there too. Oh, I do quite like the look of that. Yeah, I'm a big fan of lowriders. Uh, it's one of the American car cultures that just really, it's just it's awesome. Uh, just, what can I say? The amount of work that goes into uh, building a, a genuine lowrider is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so yes, if you like art and you like cars, then you probably like lowriders. Uh, next up, we have a fantasy casting. This is the Tarantula car, the Speed Spider, a blue metal base, plastic transparent body, has the legs all over it, uh, blue and yellow wheels. It's a very, very creepy, crawly uh, casting, this one. And there's the engine in the back there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> not too much detail to go on to, like there's not much information I can give on that. So. Uh, other than the cool colors, and yeah, it's just, it's just a creepy car. A very creepy car. All right, uh, this one here, the Bone Shaker, is apparently an exclusive also. Uh, nice metallic, oh, it's like a, I don't even know what kind of color it is. It's like a light green metallic color. Nice artwork on the side there, very cartoony. And I uh, can't quite read what that says on the side there. Uh, maybe you guys in the comments can read that and put it in the comments so we can all read that. Uh, Steely wheels with the white trim, uh, black chrome engine and front skull grille. And uh, around the opposite side there, we have the same livery once again. I do like the card, uh, the actual artwork for that too. It's kind of like also got a patina going on there as well. Uh, and there is the rear there. Yeah, very nice open roof bone shaker version. Yes, that is very, very cool. All right, we'll pop this down here and we'll get on to the next cars, which are the last two Porsches. So I'm just may as well pull these out. 
Now these were the reason why I bought this pack uh, and the Bone Shaker as well. Like these were the three cars, let me just throw that away. These were the three cars that I actually wanted from the pack. Uh, so yeah, I bought the, uh, the whole 10 pack just for these three cars in particular. I didn't know that this was an exclusive. I just knew that I just had to have it. Just absolutely amazing. I love the color. Very, very nice. Well done on the design of that. Um, the last two cars, we have a couple of very, very cool old Porsches. I'll check out the blue one first. That is super nice blue. Nice metallic blue paint job. This is the Outlaw, I believe. The 356 Outlaw. Yes. It also has the uh, detail on the base there for your uh, engine and bits and pieces or exhaust there sticking out there too. Yeah, very nice. Steely wheels with the gold trim. Uh, starting on the front there, we have the 50 in kind of like a teardrop. Um, you see where the uh, leather straps are to hold the bonnet down. Uh, fuel cap just there. No headlight details painted on there. Uh, we do get some little yellow stripes over there though. Number 50 on the side in a round, all some racing sponsors also. A little shot of the interior. <laughs> Not the best shot of the interior I can get. It also has little uh, uh, vents on the rear window there. Never noticed that before. Around the back there, you can see where the engine is hiding underneath that engine cover. It's also got multiple vents and uh, scallops <laughs> on the rear there. A little exhaust there sticking out. No light details or anything like that. Uh, and the same livery on the opposite side. That is super nice. Yeah, just I just knew that I had to find this car, or I had to pick up the, this car in particular. I like the look of that. And to be able to get the bonus uh, two-pack Porsche is really, really nice. A nice number 71 on the front there, gold striping over that black paint job. A uh, little badge just on the front there. It has the lensed headlights hiding just inside there. A grey front bumper splitter section. Number 71 on the side. Uh, the car is actually gloss black, but the door itself is actually matte black. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, number 71, gold Porsche striping there as well. More racing stickers. A bit of a shot of the interior there. Around the back there. Uh, no detailing on the rear whatsoever. Uh, it does get the lens lights on the back there and a little bit of exhaust pipe sticking out there too. And uh, there's the opposite side just there. Nice wheel choice, I will have to admit. Uh, they're like that cool classic style wheel with the gold trim on there also. Uh, this also has the matte black door on the side there. That's interesting that they've done that. Yeah, and there we go. That is an incredible, incredible looking car. And uh, there's the base, 1971 Porsche 911. Very nice, very nice. All right, guys, uh, we'll get to the rest of the 10 packs. <coughs> oh, sorry. We'll get to the rest of the 10 packs uh, next week. I'm gonna sign off the video there. We've already gone over half an hour, so I'm gonna just cut the video short. I did actually have a couple more items, so we'll get to those next week. And I've got a couple of other items off to the side as well. Uh, but we'll do all of that next week. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, please leave all your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And I really hope you can find some of this stuff yourself because it's super, super cool. I will admit it's not cheap. Like, yeah, not, not, these, these are not cheap. Uh, but they're very, very cool regardless. Anyway, guys, that's it. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic week. Be excellent to each other. And I'll see you all then. Bye, guys.